All right, just another quick little update here. Uh, I've got the driver's side door pretty much how I want it. Uh, and I started doing some work on the driver's side front fender. Now, I've got a lot of paint on here. I, I forgot how many, I put, I think I put four coats, but even with wet sanding this paint, both the white and the red with 80 grit, it takes me a long time to get it down uh, to something like this where you can kind of see through the paint. The paint looks a little thin uh, and old uh, as, it's, as it's supposed to. So uh, I didn't want to do this in the beginning, but I did go and get some sanding discs to go on my electric DA sander. Now I'm just going with 150 grit. I don't want to get too aggressive. Uh, because you can't take off, you can remove a lot of paint uh, doing this with the electric sander, doing it with a mechanical sander. So I'm going to give this a shot and I'm probably just going to have to go over uh, the whole truck and then come back with the 220 grit once I get, you know, a considerable amount of the paint removed. So I'm going to be working on that and uh, then we'll come back and we'll take another look at it. Well, I made some pretty good progress here. Uh, I've got the hood uh, pretty much finished up. There's a few little uh, spots that still have some gloss, still a little bit of uh, orange peel on there, uh, but the hood is uh, pretty well uh, shaped out how I like it. Now I just need to uh, hit it with some 400 grit, and I did go to the store and bought some 600 grit. Uh, I, I thought the 400 grit scratches, they were still a little bit too visible for me, so it's not a big deal just to scrub it with some 600 grit and get those scratches a little bit finer. Uh, this is gonna be a chore right up here, up towards the cowl. All the gloss paint is still inside these little louvers right there. Uh, not looking forward to sanding on that, but it uh, has to be done, so. And then the passenger side of the truck, the fender uh, is pretty well finished. I still have some work to do. Down here around the bumper, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bumper off as well as uh, all the chrome trim on the front of the truck, the grill, the lights, all that so that I can um, sand on this lower cowl piece, a uh, little chin, uh, chin spoiler piece. And then uh, the door, passenger side door, uh, got a little bit more work to do on it. Uh, but the, you know, the patinas uh, or the faux tinas uh, pretty well roughed into shape. Um, so making good progress. I've got the bed completely disassembled, the lights, the fenders, the steps. Uh, the chains for the tailgate, that's all done. Uh, I still need to come in here. You can see my line where I was sanding on the fender and got a little bit into uh, the side of the bed. That's fine, because this, uh, this whole area needs to be sanded, uh, as well as this area up here, because that's visible without the fender on. Here in the middle, I'm really not gonna worry about it too much. It's just extra work. Uh, I'll clean it up and make it ready for a uh, clear coat, but other than that, I'm not gonna do too much uh, work in there. Then I just got to come around the back here, sand up the posts, the bottom of the bed here, the other posts, and then the inside of the bed. Uh, that's going to be a pretty big chore. I'm not really looking forward to that either. Uh, but so far, so good. Uh, truck's coming along. Uh, I've got an appointment to take it to uh, the paint shop on Monday. And he's only going to have it for two days, basically one day to spray it. Uh, and... Uh, let it cure, and then I'll go back and pick it up the next day and bring it home and we'll start the reassembly. So all the sanding is finished here on my C10 truck. Uh, it's ready to go to the paint shop, so I'll just do a quick go around with the camera, let you see everything uh, before I call the tow truck and have it uh, taken over to the paint shop. I'm gonna have them spray it with a flat clear coat. I still haven't decided, it might be gloss, uh, but it's gonna be a last minute decision. Right here, uh, obviously you can see I've taken out the vent window, uh, all the felt and everything from the window. I did leave the glass in place. Uh, I just masked off the top of it and then taped it to the inside of the door just so it doesn't flop around uh, on the way uh, to the body shop. 
what I'll probably have them do, or what I imagine they will do, is tape it off here on the inside so that they can spray and get this little shoulder right here uh, all the way around uh, the window. Uh, everything on the inside, I haven't sanded it. I'm not going to. Uh, it's just way too much work uh, to get in there and do that kind of stuff. Plus, it's you know just nasty. So, again, like I said, I'll just go around the truck and show everything, show you everything that I've done. The fenders are off. Uh, they're in the back of my pickup right now. Uh, I'll take them over uh, to the paint shop as well. The steps. Uh, if anybody's got a step side truck, you'll know that this um, step on this side is a real pain in the butt to get off because the gas tank's in the way. And if you have dual gas tanks, then the one on the driver's side's uh, equally difficult. But I only have the one here on the passenger side. So the inside of the bed is finished as well. I did a little bit of pre-masking uh, for them. All this wood will need to be masked. Uh, completely masked off, but I just uh, masked off the uh, perimeter uh, just to save save them a little bit of time. And I think I mentioned this before. I didn't do any uh, or very little uh, sanding here. You can still see some of the orange peel in there. That's because the fenders in here. Likewise, I didn't do it up here. You won't see that. Um, the fender's in the way. I just did it uh, in the basically at the very edges of the bed uh, where you will see some of the bedside in there. And here's the back of the cab. Uh, the bed is, at the moment, only bolted down in two places, one in the front, one in the back, and they're just finger tight so that when it does get to the paint shop, it can be taken off uh, easily uh, take it off or if they just want to slide it back so that they can paint uh, the back of the cab and the front of the bulkhead here and then you've probably seen the roof I haven't done any work on the roof that was finished uh, a while ago and then here's the driver's side of the truck again same thing with the glass taped it off up top and then taped it to the inner door structure just to keep it from flopping around So that's where we are right now. I'll go give the tow truck a call and have it hauled over to the paint shop and let them get started uh, spraying the clear coat on it.